Hello, I am Jack Johnson, and this is going to be the first video for my new YouTube channel, Air Johnson. I put this together because for the last year or so, as I moved from Baltimore, Maryland to Dallas, Texas, I have been building and flying quads. So, right now this is not quite a drone because I'm only flying third person line of sight. I don't have the VR goggles yet to fly first person with a live camera feed, so I just make do with what I have so far. I fly these things, slap a GoPro onto it, and hopefully capture something cool. To get me into this hobby, I have done everything through YouTube. I've looked at the YouTube pages such as Joshua Bardwell, who's number one, will teach you anything you need to know. Race Day Quads, Rotor Riot is another good one. Mr. Steele's got incredible footage. There's a lot to learn on there. So with my channel, I can't teach you exactly how to do this perfectly. However, you can learn from my mistakes so you don't have to learn from making them yourself. I'm still very new to this, so that's why I'm still making mistakes. There's always something to learn from mistakes. Otherwise, there's no point in making them. So today I went to White Rock Lake, which is a big park with all kinds of trails and dog parks to go to. There's an arboreum. And um, I spoke with an officer before I started flying, and he told me it's fair game where I was. So what am I going to do? Fly the hell out of it. Why not? Now, even though flying is fun no matter what, there were still a few things that went wrong today. So this is my primary one. This is a clone of an alien frame. Don't buy clones. And I learned that because of this one. Now, this was not designed to crash. It wasn't even designed, it's a clone. Someone copied some BS frame that this was, slapped it together with a cheap CNC router, never changed their bits on it, and made this piece of junk. So of course it flew, but if it hits the ground once, it's a goner pretty much, it's ruined. So this thing actually today almost cost me my GoPro camera. So I'll show you the footage in a second, of course, but Stick with the real deal. Stick with the, with the frames that are designed by the people that actually care, the ones that actually fly them. All right, that's enough blabbing about how I got into this on the footage. Well, it was a beautiful day out, but it just started pouring out of nowhere. So I'm still gonna give this a shot. Uh, we'll see if we can find some decent weather. Maybe just give us some time, let it blow over. Let's see, that's not it. There's people around. That's not it. There's people around. The internet was very vague about where this RC Air Park is, so I'm just going to keep on driving until the rain stops, and hopefully we find the RC Air Park. The thing about Dallas so far is that all these storms are just taking trees down, left and right. They just come out of nowhere. It's just been rough with this weather recently. It's been tough to get out. So I spoke with the officer up in the parking lot, and he said um, there's no real RC Air Park around here, but um, just avoid the exclusion zone, and I'm free to fly wherever. So always ask around, scope the area out so you don't get anyone hurt or get yourself in trouble. And uh, like I said, have fun. Busted the GoPro mount off of this one, so let's see if I can get this guy fired up, which has the mounts on it. I haven't actually flown this one yet in the air, like outside, but let's give it a shot. So all I had to do was swap over the radio receiver, mount the antennas, zip tie them down, and 
we should be good to go. Let's see how this goes. God, holy crap, that did not go well. That did not go well at all, but we saved the quad, we saved the GoPro. Holy sh**, that was scary. That went way too far for comfort. I should not have tested that out over water. All right, well, it still works just fine, but this is why you don't buy cloned cheapo frames. I've already messed up one of these arms here. This is just total junk. You don't waste your time or money on these clone frames. And also, hence the quote, never disarm. Keep it armed until you know you can land in somewhere safe. Land in a safe spot. Otherwise, you'll lose your footage, lose your drone, lose your camera, probably hurt someone too. So that's all the flying I'm gonna do today. That scared the hell out of me. And when you think your nerves have had it, it's good to stop. Just like snowboarding, so you don't get yourself hurt on your last run. Stop when you are ready and stick with it. So obviously, something strange happened. I think what's going on, which has now happened twice, I think, is when I tried to pitch the quad forward, I think the distance had some kind of interference and it actually was pitching it back. So luckily I was able to reverse my sense of direction and get it back to land and crash land it there, which is okay. Let me save the GoPro. However, I'm going to try to diagnose that in the future. Let me know if you know anything about distance having effects on the actual direction of your controls. I'm curious and I'm still trying to identify exactly what went wrong but I'm just happy I got my stuff back. Let's talk about what I learned today. All right, so one thing, test your quad out over some grass in a nice big open field before you do anything crazy. You know, you don't want to fly over water when you're first testing it out because you drop it in water, it's gone forever. In fact, don't fly over water. Just don't do it. You can live without flying over water. There's cooler places to fly over than a big old body of water. A huge shout out to all the fellow YouTubers that have gotten me into this hobby. I want to try to spread the good news and get everyone else into it that's interested. I'm going to put a list of all the people down in my description for this video of who inspired me. Um, go take a look at them all because it's definitely worth the time. So to finish up today, whether your day goes bad or it goes great, there's always something you can learn from it, and that's why you should always keep learning stuff. That's going to be our slogan for this, always keep learning stuff. We'll see you next time. Ow!